Well, welcome in college hockey fans. As you can see behind me, I'm still in Denver. Uh, this is another player profile from the goal out. As I tell uh, my guest, Massimo Rizzo, the goaltenders are done now. It's time to talk forwards and goal scoring and all that good stuff. And being a freshman on this Denver roster, um, tell us about that. What was it like to come to Denver and jump right into the action? Yeah, I was super excited coming to Denver. Um, we obviously had a great team in the locker room, great coaching staff, and a great culture here. So I was super pumped to get in here and, and start playing. Okay, so you came out of a pandemic year where you knew you were going to be a freshman, hopefully after the pandemic had cooled down a little bit. What was it like preparing for this season? Yeah, the pandemic uh, personally gave me a bit more time to um, get my body right for college hockey, get stronger, get faster, um, do what I need to do in the weight room. So um, that was a bonus. So then obviously knowing that fans are going to be back in the arena and um, we're going to have more people watching us and, and getting excited about Denver hockey was um, super exciting for me. So it's been nice to get out here and, and play in front of our students and fans. Burnaby, BC. Uh, if you're from Denver, Colorado, how do you get to Burnaby, BC? Yeah, um, Burnaby, BC. Um, Burnaby's in uh, Vancouver, which is a beautiful city in British Columbia. Um, I live about 20 minutes outside of the city and uh, in a nice suburb. But um, yeah, I'm pretty fortunate after I've grown up in, in Vancouver. Growing up? Canucks fan or someone else? Oh, I did enjoy watching the Canucks. I was a big fan of the Sedins, um, okay. so I'd always go to games with my dad and, and watch them play. Uh, then I was also a Blackhawks fan growing up because I just loved Patrick Kane. And, um, but I definitely, definitely had a love for Vancouver. Let's talk about your skill on the ice. Um, I know you got speed, but I'm even more impressed with the fact that you can use that speed and still handle the puck. How do you do that? Uh, I think it's just a lot of off-season work, a lot of skill work, and uh, just what you do in practice, just playing fast and, um, yeah, working on that, the speed and the skill at the same time and um, preparing for that game. Like, Are there things that you can tell young players that maybe have a lot of speed but can't get their hands and feet to work together? Are there drills that they should be doing? I think it's just, uh, just being as fast as you can on the ice in every single drill. Um, you always have a chance to work on your speed and skill at the same time. I know for me growing up, I had the luxury of having a little hockey area in the basement, so I spent a lot of time down there stick handling and shooting, and I think that was a big, uh, big bonus for me as well. So you get to the uh, University of Denver, and uh, you find out all your teammates, and you realize just how much talent's on this roster, but you fit right in immediately. You thought that was going to happen? You didn't think it was going to happen? It just happened. Yeah, um, I didn't really know too much. Um, I know we had a great great group of guys and um, just hearing names before coming in here then once I got here everyone was so great make you feel so comfortable our coaching staff so amazing with their communication and uh, so I kind of just fit right in and got to know the guys and then got on the ice and found some chemistry and, and things kind of sort of worked out. Massimo Rizzo where'd that first name come from? <laughs> my uh, my family's uh, got an Italian background um, and so the the name Massimo is from Italy and I mean, you don't hear it too much around here, but um, yeah, I'm pretty fortunate after have a name like that. Maybe you don't hear it around here a lot now, but over the next four years, there's a lot of Denver Pioneer fans that are going to hear it a lot. So continue doing what you're doing, okay? You. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, going to school in Denver, because it's not just playing hockey here, right? You have to get your education and keep your schoolwork up and all that good stuff. What are you studying? What do you want to do with your degree? Yeah, it's great to have such a good athletic team and then the academics as well here at Denver are really prestigious. So um, personally, I think I'm going to go into uh, psychology or biology. I'm not a big uh, fan of business and numbers. I kind of like uh, the other side of it. So um, that's what I'm planning on studying. But yeah, we got so many great resources and everything to help you through that education side of it. You haven't seen any real NCHC opponents yet. Um, when you do, what do you expect to change, if anything? I think uh, there's just going to be another level of intensity. Obviously, the rivalry with all the NCHC teams will be um, super fun and exciting for us. And um, there's a bunch of good teams in our in our division this year, so um, we're going to be looking to be the best and prove that out there. Favorite part about traveling with a hockey team? Is there a favorite part? Um, I think just seeing all the cool cities, um, playing hockey, you get to travel a bunch and and go to a bunch of new places that. Um, you probably wouldn't if you weren't playing hockey. So, and then being on the road with the guys and, and bonding and, and forging those friendships out there is also a really special thing. All right, last one for you. And uh, for folks that don't know, we had to do this twice because we didn't have sound. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So I appreciate you hanging in there. Um, tell me about Denver University and the city of Denver and, and how uh, you've adapted so far. Yeah, beautiful city. 
Um, obviously, you hear a lot of great things about Denver, then um, hear a lot of great things about the university too. So it's kind of a bit of a smaller university where you get to know everyone and um, forge friendships with not only teammates but classmates. And, um, and then, yeah, even getting outside of the city, it's a big sports city, obviously, with the Broncos and the Avalanche and um, the Rockies. So it's cool that you get to explore a city and see some of those games as well. So we've been pretty fortunate enough to uh, live here for the next little bit. Massimo Rizzo, appreciate your time. Good luck the rest of the way. Yeah, thank you very much. Appreciate it.